And we have here uh, our ice princess. <laughs> Is it okay to call you an ice princess for now? I know kasi parang minsan di ba parang merong bad connotation yung ice queen, ice princess, di ba? Pero I mean, you are GMA's ice princess. In a good in a good I mean, I do not know of any kapuso artists na who's as good as, as you on ice. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Ashley, it's so nice to have you here at Updated with Nelson Canlas. And, you know, um, ilang beses na akong nadadaan doon sa tapat ng GMA that has this billboard of you. And talagang sabi ko, oh my God, that's my friend, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Actually, hindi ko pa nga nakikita yung billboard. People were tagging me nasa billboard. Hindi ko pa nakikita. Ash. Ano ka ba? That is your first billboard sa GMA. I know, I know. I'm so excited. This is your yeah. very first break, no? Parang yeah. uh, yung talagang maituturing mo na malaking break for GMA. Yes po. Um, yes, the long wait is over and it's all worth it in the end. Siguro mm. isa din sa mga factor is I became really, really patient. And parang character ko lang din sa story. Hindi ako nag-give up. Oo. Kasi, uh, ang hirap kasing mag-intay, ano, uh, or maghanap ng isang project that will combine yung both loves mo uh, yeah. ng acting and of course, yung yung uh, pagiging figure skate skater mo. And now it's here. Yeah, I'm having the best of both worlds. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. Pero mahirap pa kasi madaling araw ang taping nyo. Yes, as in graveyard shift kami doon. <laughs> but you know what? Every time we would shoot inside the skating ring, it doesn't really um, feel like work because it's a happy set. And even our director, si Direct Dominic Zapata, sobrang dami niyang energy. So parang nasasabayan ko siya kasi nakakahiya naman if, di ba? <laughs> mang, mang ano ko doon, antokin ng sobra. And I always try to stay awake every time I shoot inside the skating ring para hindi rin bumaba yung energy ko when I skate. Pero, let's talk about the pressure. Kasi, alam naman natin na, I mean, you have been competing uh, internationally sa uh, uh, figure skating, ano. And, of course, uh, I know you're one of the really, really good actresses of GMA. Pero, combining these two, I'm sure, yung pressure para sa sa'yo is personal. Especially, this is my first big, big project. Talaga, yung pressure rin kakaiba. So, lahat ng mga tao, matas ang expectations sa akin. Um, Siyempre, yung mga figure skating stunts ko, I really have to work work on it. Kasi wala akong double sa show. It's all me. One of my co-actors, si Sky Chua, is a really professional figure skater. And talagang, she, she's in our national team. So talaga malayo yung level niya sa level ko. Pero again, it's um in, sila sabi rin sa akin ni Direk, na wag ka nang ma-pressure. Even people would message me, ayan na Ash. Like everyone's so proud of me. Everyone is so excited for the show. Na, Ash, ito na yung pinakahihintay mo. Ayan na, this is your big break. Ere na kayo. So pro kinakabahan talaga. Oh, sometimes Why? I don't know how to react. I don't know how to react. Na, Pwede bang i-delay mo na for a while yung pag-ere or kailangan <laughs> para matapos na agad. So, the pressure is there. Pero, ayaw ko masyadong itatak sa utak ko na what if I did something wrong or ganyan. I just wanna enjoy the whole process. O medyo kinakabahan lang talaga kasi it's something really big and special for me. And I'm doing it at the same time. Launching, tapos figure skating. But at the same time, nakaka-excite siya. Mm-mm. Pero Ash, alam ko kasi, di ba, kayong mga figure skaters, I mean, perfectionist kayo to, to every single detail. Eh, ngayon, since it's being captured on film, syempre, di ba, parang, uh, meron ka bang ganon yung parang personal uh, pressure na hindi direct ulitin natin yon mas gusto ko mas mataas pa yung yung ano ko yung paako or mas mabilis pa yung ikot ko may ganun ka ba um actually working with direct dominic is so easy as in he's very generous when it comes to 
taking shots, it gets really tiring kapag paulit-ulit. Mm-hmm. So what what we usually do, shoot mo na namin una yung mga spins or mga jumps and then we shoot the whole program. And para makita rin talaga yung mga details. Hindi niya hindi, niya, hindi niya ako pinapagod ng sobra. If he knows that, you know, I'm running out of breath, he would tell me, "Okay, rest ka muna for a while. We can take different shots." I'm really grateful grateful for direct Domblen for making it easier for me kasi yun nga nak- nakakapagod at nakaka-pressure and sometimes syempre pag midnight na pag tuloy-tuloy na eksena mo um yung galaw mo medyo hindi na as perfect as <laughs> yung may energy ka pa ng 10 ng 10 pm pag mga bad ng 5 5 am 6 am syempre pagod na rin and alaga naman siyang lahat sa aming mga artista especially yung mga figure skaters talaga na nagpo-perform they would take care of us properly para maganda rin yung, yung product. I know kasi parang there was a time that you really have to sort of yung magkaroon ka ng sabbatical sa figure skating because you had to concentrate on you being an actress. Was yes. it hard for you? But I went back to figure skating when I was 19. So pinagsabay ko yung showbiz and skating. One year lang ako nag-skate nun. I competed locally yun yung time na na parang people found out that I was a figure skater pala. Na actually, isa ko doon sa mga nagulat doon. Ah, para... uh, uh, yes! Yes! So, um, siguro that time, um, na-miss ko siguro yung sport ko. And, pero, mas prioritize ko yung showbiz career ko that time. Kasi, syempre. Why? Um, well, I don't wanna say it in a negative way. I kind of realized na parang Sure, when you get older, like you have to take a, you know, you have to have a job that is more serious, that can, mm. ano, um, give you a, a bright future. Kaya ang actually tong tong show na to, like, di, di ko talaga inexpect. You know, all the 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 hard work. I actually dedicate this show to my parents because they're the reason why I'm a figure skater. In enroll nila ako when I was a kid. Nung natuto ako maglakad, sinalang na ako agad sa yel. Agad, agad. And, Yes, and I'm not gonna lie, figure skating is a very expensive sport. So, nung time na nagko-compete kami, it was, it was um, my parents who would shoulder everything. And at least ngayon, as in, this is my way of giving back to them mm-hmm. na, alam mo, nagbunga yung hirap nila, yung ginastos nila sa akin. But, yun nga, hindi ko rin naisip na, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have a show about it. Pero, mm-hmm. it's more of like, um, my figure skating before was more of like a passion and a hobby na. Mm-hmm. You just do it. You're just doing it for yourself because you love it. Na wala kang kapalit na hinihingi. Pero okay. I want to know Asha no. How ex- sinabi mo kanina it's an expensive sport. Um how expensive is it? Like just give me an idea. Kasi I'm sure maraming nakikinig sa atin ngayon, maraming nanonood sa atin ngayon na parang gusto ko yung anak ko or yung anak nila, mommy, daddy, gusto kong mag-figure skating. Yes. Eh pero teka, nak, mahal 'yan eh. Gaano ba kamahal? Ay, gaano ba kamahal? Well, if you really want to make figure skating a, a legit sport for you, then I think you really have to save kasi um syempre skate shoes pa lang mahal na yan mm. you have to have a budget for your skate shoes usually ang mga figure skates yung mga 20k and above usually oh, kasi ten- walang local niyan na diba yes kasi wala namang yellow dito <laughs> oh, oh exactly exactly and then you have to pay for your skating lessons for your coach you have to pay for the rental of the skating rink. And Oo, yung entrance pero, nun eh, di ba? Entrance nun, it's a different from the enrollment of your coach. And of course, if you really want to to be a professional figure skater, you have to train at least four times a week. If you add it up, talagang mahal. And so, of, talagang and, iginapang ka pala ng parents mo, no? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh my so gosh. Kind of and hindi lang ako yung figure skater. My younger sister was a uh, was a figure skater also, and my older brother was a hockey player. So wow. yeah, and every time we would compete abroad, ayan pa sa, sa ulo. So ikaw talaga magtitay lahat ng ng accommodation, ng, oh. ng airfare. And At of saka, course, meron pang joining fee yan, de ba? Yeah, the accommodation of your coach, the airfare of your coach, ikaw lahat magsha shoulder. So it's mm. a 
very expensive sport. But you know, at the end of the day, if you see a professional figure skater skate, alam mo yung mapapatulala ka na lang talaga and you will be mm. ah, okay. mm. worth it siya maging mahal. <laughs> Oo. Because Kasi in in addition to what you said, diba? Kasi aside from the training, pupunta ka pa rin sa skating rink on your own just to just to do your assignment, diba? Yes, just to yes. practice on your own. Yeah, iba pa yung self-practice. Usually, hindi pwedeng lagi ka lang umaasa sa mga coaches. Mm. So, there were times before na I would go alone. I would train alone. Importante rin yun sa athlete. Yung kaya mong turuan yung sarili. Hindi ka nakadepende sa coach. So, kailangan talaga ng hard work and determination sa sa sport na yun. Anong high yung nakukuha mo when you're on the ice? You know, the the freedom of just expressing yourself and spreading your arms and of course, um the elegance. I mean, I just love being so graceful and fun. You're like a swan, ano? Yeah, <laughs> you're like a swan. You know, I love I just love being so graceful in front of people. And actually, ngayon ko nga lang na-realize. Hindi naman sa, sa I'm bragging, bragging about it. Pero alam mo, since I was a kid, you know, I was really born to perform in front of people. Mm-hmm. Now, like, after also, di ba, I have to entertain people. When I was but, a kid, hindi ko naman inisip mag-artista. But you know, that's, that's a gift, ah. That is a gift. Kasi, di ba, Uh, makikita mo sa bata minsan yung may, may mga bata at hindi talaga sila magpe-perform hindi sila magsasalita pag may nanonood sa kanila pero merong mga bata na talaga yung pabibo yes! yung bitabida yung, oo yung bitabida <laughs> pag uh, okay uh, your ninong is here oh, you sing ha you sing so ganun ka yeah I was like that when I was a kid na kaya nga it's If you wanna enter the sport of figure skate, it's better if bata. Kasi pag na so, pag nadada pa, pag susubsub, alam mo hindi pa hindi pa sila ganong katakot na compared now that I'm an adult already. When I do my mm. job, I get really scared. Kasi alam ko kung ganong kasakit. Pero pag bata dead malang naman nil. Eh. Malakas pa loob ng mga bata. So when I was a kid, mas malakas yung loob ko. I perform in front of everyone, and I enjoy all the the glittery costume, the glittery makeup. And mm-hmm. after nun, n- nag-showbiz naman ako. Hindi ko rin naman inisip na mag-showbiz rin pala yeah. ako. Pero hindi I kasi, diba? I people also. I guess kasi mas bata ka, mas less yung fear mo of rejection. Yes, na parang, yes. wala akong pakailam kahit palakpakan niyo yeah. ako. Yeah, na, uh, wala akong pakailam kahit na hindi niyo gusto yung performance ko. Basta nag-perform ako. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was a kid. Ikaw ba? Ash, do you still dream of being an Olympian just sa sports na yan? Ayun, siguro yung hanggang pangarap na lang siguro. <laughs> Ay, <laughs> Talag- uh, hindi naman siguro yan, ano, imposible. I think, uh, Sir Nelson, it's kind of impossible na. I'm late. I'm too late to be an Olympian. Why? Meron bang expiration stage or expiration yes, age ito? Yes, if you're a figure skater, meron talagang expiration age. At ako, expired na expired. <laughs> Why? I mean, hanggang anong edad ba ang yung uh, bongga ka pang mag-figure skate? Uh, what? I'm sorry po? So, yung anong age ka pa yung talagang bongga ka pang mag-figure skate? Siguro when I was in my, ano, um, when I was 10 years old, 11, before I retired as a mm. competitor, before I stopped being a competitive figure skater, um, Actually, no generation kasi namin, iba yung techniques na ginagamit namin sa generation ngayon. Maraming, it's actually harder now. Tumaas na talaga yung standards. Standards. Ng things. Yeah, especially, you know, mga, nung last Olympics, yung performance ng mga Russians, they're really, really good. It's always the Russians, ano? Uh, usually, mga triples lang talaga ang ginagawa ng ng senior figure skater but with the Russians they would set the standards and nagka-quad sila then si Mizuru <laughs> Hanyu from Japan nagka-quad sila para nung panahon namin hirap na hirap na kami sa triple axel tapos ngayon may mga nagka-quad na so talagang every year siguro tumataas talaga yung, 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 yung standard oh, oh. figure skating they level up ikaw yeah na. they level up so hmm. kaya nga ngayon yung mga new batch nagugulat na lang din ako na oh my pero yun nga, it's really hard if you wanna be an Olympian. Kahit sino naman, di ba, yung mga ibang Olympian natin. Years of training, kailangan mataka. And as a figure skater, kailangan at the age of parang 16 or 17. 
or 18, kailangan na sa senior level ka. When you say senior level, that's the highest level. Eh, ako 24 na ako ngayon. just ko. <laughs> Expired na ako. But you know, ha, it's never... 24 ka na ba? Akala ko 17 ka lang. I <laughs> Because you will always be 17 for me. Oh my God! <laughs> 17 po yung utak ko. Hindi <laughs> But you know, it doesn't mean uh, it's also okay to be an adult skater. Nag ako I consider myself as an adult skater. Kasi nag-stop ako, tapos ngayon na ako bumalik, di ba? Pero mm-hmm. to be an Olympian, I think that's a different that's a different story. It's oh, a different. So you really different, have to kumbaga, start. That's a different, yeah, different way. Path. That's a different oh, path. Kailangan oh, oh. 3 years old ka pa lang, ayan na, mag-train na, mag-train nyo na yung anak nyo. Pero mm-hmm. as in age ko ngayon, it's more of, you know, passion na lang talaga and a hobby. Oh, oh. Pero needless to say, kasi iba talaga yung nab- nabibigay sa yung rush nito eh. Yeah. Because I remember you na kinukwento mo sa akin before na parang pag, uh, yung pag-pressured na pressured ka na sa trabaho mo, pumuputa ka lang sa skate, sa, uh, sa yeah, ice, just... and nag-figure skate ka lang for an hour or so. Wala lang, freestyling and doing whatever. Yeah, and aside from doing that, you know, it, it, figure skating is cardio. So, ilang ikot mo lang sa loob ng skating mo. You get to burn a lot of calories. And people would actually think na pag nasa loob ka ng skating, malamig, di ka pagpap. It's cold. Pero kami mga figure skaters, siguro 30 minutes of doing exhibitions, ligo na kami agad ng pawis. Doing one mm. program, a two-minute program, after our program, hingal to the max kasi ligo kami ng pawis. That's how tiring our sport is. And na-realize yun siya na parang, Sabi niya, grabe pala ang cardio ng figure skating. Pumayat siya sa figure skating kasi it's really, really tiring. Akala ko nga rin, kasi syempre, di ba, parang pag when you watch figure skaters, di ba, parang ang akala mo parang ganda-ganda lang nila, everything so smooth, every, no, effortless lang, pero hindi nila alam para ma-execute mo yung proper posture na yun, proper figure na yun, e eh, talagang kailangan mo yung muscle na yun, e eh, talagang gumagana. Yes, years of training, a lot of core workout, a lot of muscle workout. It's really hard to be to be a figure skater. It's a difficult sport. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would like to believe, sabi mo nga 24 ka na ngayon, uh, you're still going to figure skate until you can, ano? Of course, of course. Actually, it's my goal na makapag figure skate. Abroad for fun. Kung bagay parang sa lake, ice na lake. So, of course, I'm still gonna continue it. Yung skate shoes ko hindi naman na yan magawal. And Nagaw- once you are... Nagawa mo na Nagawa mo na yun. Na yung meron kang bucket list na pag uh, figure skatean. And then, nagputa ka doon. Actually, after Hearts and Eyes, I really wanna travel. And when I travel, I wanna bring my skate shoes with me. Para maka- ma- makapag-skate naman ako doon. Kasi parang na-check na sa bucket list ko yung magkaroon ng... Figure skating na show, de ba? So, and I skated sa lahat ng skating rin dito sa, sa Philippines. So, try naman sa iba. And once you're a figure skater, you will always be a figure skater. Oh, And hindi yan para sa akin kasi when I was younger, I think I <laughs> fell too many times for me to say na wag na lang. <laughs> okay na ako. Alam nyo kami rin, ang dami namin semblangs. I actually have a lot of BPS, mga semblangs ko sa training. It's normal for figure skaters na talagang Semplang to the max. Actually, meron na nga akong album ng <laughs> so, umuwi ako from taping ng figure skating. Pasa-pasa yung legs ko. Salon pas ang nakabalit sa paa ko, sa likod ko. Ano talaga, maga talaga yung paa mo after. But, you know, it's it's um part of being an athlete. Kaya nung nakikita ng mga nila, nila direct and yung mga ibang tao na hindi nung sumisemplang, lahat sila kinakaba because there was a scene na kailangan ko sumemplang. So, sinemplang ko talaga. Lahat sila, okay ka lang ba? Mukhang twist. Buti, okay lang yun. Ganyan talaga kami malaglag. <laughs> na ito, don't worry sila. Oo. Mm. Parang okay lang yan. We would always fall. Siguro mga countless times na, even the professional figure skaters, kahit yung mga pinakamagagalit, na tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung pagkasemplang yan. Pero diba, tumatayo pa rin yan. Mm. So, yung mga beginners na nandadapa, it's okay. Kami rin, pinagdaanan namin yan. Hanggang ngayon, pinagdadaanan pa rin namin yan. Just like life, ano? Yeah. Oo, oh, di ba? Yeah. Parang ang talino. Just Akala like life. Na, <laughs> yeah. Stand up and keep going. Okay, Ash. Let's get personal. Okay. I'll, I'll give you time to answer. Okay, um, okay. Oo, okay. Recently, umamin na kayo, nahiwalay kayo ni ano ni 
Mayor Mark Alcala. Yeah. And how's your heart? I'm actually, my heart is full right now. I'm mm. really happy. Um, I recovered. I recovered from the breakup already. Because last year, I mean, Q and I, I just didn't mm-hmm. stay quiet about it. I didn't tell anybody. So now, uh, you know, I'm confirming it to people. I think I'm more. I'm ready Parang, to. Talk it's about, about time, it. no? But it's about time, na rin. Para hindi na rin ako makatanggap ng mga tanong na bakit hindi na mo ibisita ng Lucena? Kayo pa ba? Mm-hmm. Bakit parang sabi nila may third party, pinagpalit ka na, ayun, yeah, rumors, yung mga ganyan, yung mga ganyang mm. tanong. But I think it's mm. all the best to, to confirm it. And yeah, and my heart is okay, right? I'm really happy. Mm. And I have nothing against it. Um, sig- na- naka-recover na ako sa heartbreak. Did you remain friends after the breakup? Um, no. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> That's so candid. No. <laughs> no. Um, nung tinanong rin sa akin yan, it was so hard for me to answer. Pero, I have to, you know, stick to it. But you know, I have nothing against my ex. It's just that it's hard to say that we're friends because after the breakup, we never saw each other again and we never really talked to each you other. You never hung out, kumbaga. Oh, we never talked and Mm-mm. saw each other again. Mm-hmm. Natapos lang talaga ng yun na yun. Natuldukan and then wala na. So I don't, I, I can't say we're friends. Kasi parang it's impossible that we're friends. Oh, you know? oh, oh. Kasi parang yun na nga eh. That's an overused term eh. Na parang porque okay kayo nung nag-break kayo, friends na agad. Eh parang di ba there's a lot to the word eh. Not naman to say na parang pag sinabi mo na hindi kayo friends, hindi naman ni kayo mag-aaway. Yes. Mm-mm. Um siguro ano lang din kasi um at first nga I don't think also it's like I should pressure myself is if I should you know ask myself dapat ba maging friend ko siya kasi para I was able to move forward naman after the breakup so parang I, I don't want to go back there and question myself dapat ba friends kami kasi parang okay na ako eh. and with him he's okay na also with his with his life right now. So, parang it's better to move forward na lang. And I don't wanna, you know, pressure myself na in- in- isipin ko pa nang maigil kung kailangan ko ba maging friends kasi it's not a big deal to me anymore. Yes. So it's none of my business anymore na, na, you know, to go back there or like to be part of his life again. It was a mutual decision. We both agreed to it. It mm. was, wala namang galit sa isa't isa after the breakup. So, you know, I think it's better to just keep it that way and we both move forward quietly without mm-hmm. and, you know, walang sumbatan and everything. So, y- I think... Yun ang maganda eh, di ba? Na parang you decided to end the relationship and that's it. That it didn't work. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. yun lang talaga yung parang <laughs> people are making a big deal out of it. Kaya napipigla din ako parang tapos na ako dyan. <laughs> tapos mm-hmm. bigla ito na naman. So, I really get pressure. Pero... Okay, kamusta naman yung buhay single? How is it oh, being single my... again? Kasi, iba yan. <laughs> yeah, I actually enjoy being single. Siguro the first few months, I'm not gonna lie. It was very difficult for me kasi when I started living alone, that was the time also that I just had a breakup. So, parang I really felt physically, emotionally, and mentally alone. <laughs> I was... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wait, but Ash, I hindi ba torture yan? Na parang... I know that my friends are, ano naman, or, you know, or, they're all there. I actually know the people who are there for me. At, I, I will never forget the people who are there for me at my lowest. Pero, ito siguro yung parang pivotal moment ko rin. Last year was a very tough year for me, especially the last few months. I started to love myself more, to prioritize myself. Yeah. The process of really accepting everything and telling yourself that you have to lang panindigan ginawa mong decision. It was mm-hmm. hard. Of course, syempre, mag-isa lang ako dito. Ram- ram- ramdam na ramdam ko talaga yung lungkot ko. There were, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the days na I would just magmukmuk lang talaga ako dito. And you know, the pain that I had that time, I really welcomed it and embraced it. Kaya, mm-hmm. um, I was able to recover from it kasi in-acknowledge ko talaga yung pain. And it's okay to acknowledge your pain. It's part of life. 
And then after that, I realized I was actually so proud of myself. Na, wow, I actually did it. Na parang, Finally, no? Oh, Oo nga, no? Ako, I learned how to be emotionally and mentally strong, to be physically independent. Kung Kuya, baga, going back, oh, oh. Like the Kung baga yung inaalagaan mo yung sarili mo. I yes. guess, no, na parang, uh, tama ka, uh, yun dapat ang ginagawa, yung if you're going through something really, yung malungkot sa buhay mo, like, of course, a breakup, um, unahin mo yung self-love, self-improvement, yeah. self, you know, everything about yourself, na yeah. yung mararamdaman mo na inaalagaan mo yung sarili mo at minamahal mo yung sarili mo, and, you know, inch by inch, so you'll get yeah. there. Yeah. So, as sabi ko, like, yeah, I, I think maybe I was going through a hard time that time. Pero, I would always look at the bright side also. Na, you know, I have my biggest breaks. I think I have to focus on this. And, mm-hmm. you know, so now, I'm really proud of myself na I'm a strong, independent woman and I love being single. I think it's gonna stay like this for a while. Kasi, mm, alam mo yung... Why na, not, di ba? Feeling ko rin, parang ang ganda-ganda ko. Kasi, syempre, after the breakup, nawala yung confidence ko and everything. Dumaan ako sa face na, never enough. Yung mga ganyan. Yes. <laughs> Pero, At saka yung, di ba? I mean, welcome the drama. Mag-isa ka lang, nakakarinig ka ng mga sad music. Iyak mo lang yan. Ganyan. <laughs> few couple of months that I was like that and I'm not actually ashamed of it. Yeah. Pero ngayon, yeah, pero ngayon na parang I'm happy, I love myself. Alam mo, I attract a lot of people also. So parang yung pagdalalawa ng mga lalaki na single pala ako, sana may anda pala lang interesado sa akin. So parang feel ko, ganda-ganda ko. Okay, actually, <laughs> to tell you honestly, uh, pag uh, minahal mo yung sarili mo or inalagaan mo yung sarili mo after, this uh, this much I have learned, ah, uh, um, it opens you up to a, you know, a nicer place. Yeah. Baga, it opens a door to a nicer place na pupuntahan mo. And doon, makikita mo yung sarili mo in a different light. And yes. people will start to see you yes, na yeah, maganda that's rin. That's true. It really has to start in you and then the rest will fall. Oo. Kasi natatandaan ko, of course, I mean, years ago, uh, naramdaman ko rin naman yan. Like, parang mga breakups na yan. Ah! Ang feeling ko, ano pa? You dalawa lang me. naman yan eh. Dalawa lang naman yan eh. It's either you stay there or you're, you start moving. Yes, that's true. You know, that's one thing I learned also na, syempre, you know, rejections, failures, and pain is really part of life. But you should always know how to recover from it. You should always have the resilience na parang yes. you have to get up. You can't allow yourself to be stuck there. Because if you allowed yourself to be stuck there, nothing will happen. You're gonna mm-hmm. be stuck in that dark hole and just be Pero depressed. Pero alam mo, di ba Ash, yung going from point A to point B, nasabihin mo yung magsa-self-love ka, yun yung mahirap eh. Yes, Pero, actually, that's the hardest. The recovery stage is actually yes. the hardest. Pero yung pag nasimulan mo na yung point B, tuloy-tuloy na yan. B, C, D, E, yeah. F, tuloy-tuloy na yan. And it doesn't really have to be right away. As in talaga yung recovery stage ko was like yes. tiny steps day by day, hour by hour. As in talagang tiny steps hanggang sa na-reach ko na yung yung kota na I'm okay already. In the beginning, it's really hard. Hanggang sa pagkitna, alam mo yung parang it gets easier and easy. Alam mo, it's the hardest recovery. I'll, I'll share this uh, story ha. I remember nung time na umiiyak pa ako kay Tita Mel. Nagko-confide ako talaga kay Tita Mel. Ang sabi niya, sabi niya alam mo, meron kang kailangang baguhin sa sarili mo para for you to attract yeah. the next person. Parang ganon. For you to get out of that slum. Parang ganyan. You know, uh, let's not discount the fact that there's one person looking for you right now. Kaya lang hindi mo alam pa kung sino yun. Pero this much I can tell you, sabi niya sa akin. Every time yung nagwawalwal ka, every time naglulungkot-lungkutan ka, every time na binababa mo yung sarili mo, pumapangit ka ng pumapangit. And pag ginagawa mo yun, palubog ka ng palubog. Whereas, sabi niya, as opposed to, uh, if you improve yourself, take lessons, go to the gym, pagandahin mo yung sarili mo, uh, pag ginagawa mo yun, you're one step higher. Yeah. And I'm telling you, mas madaling mahanap ang taong nasa pedestal kesa yeah, na palubog. That is so true. 
you know, if you have a negative aura, you attract negative vibes. If True. If you have a positive aura, you attract positive vibes. I have I never really thought that yung yung ganyang issue mm-hmm. or you are getting serious out there. Natatawa na lang kami ni Sia na para sa kanang gagaling to. So, you know, me and Sia, we're just we're just friends and we all know naman na he, he's in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Diba? With, with oh. some... And I respect the relationship. I respect Sia. I'm not that kind of person naman na na mga aga or di ba yung oh. mga, mga accusations sa akin ng mga tao na maladi daw ako na malihin daw kaming nakikita and everything. Wow. Siguro Ta- kaya na talaga may oh, kwento na talaga ano? Oo. Oh, oh, actually nagkukulat na lang talaga ako na parang ha saan na lang ako ito? They would just assume that me and Sian would hang out kasi nga syempre when we train for hearts and eyes um We would train in one skating ring, and kahit siya solo siya nagtetrain, we can't help but bump into each other inside the skating ring. Kasi sabay kami nagtetrain, and every time we would train together for our scenes together, syempre public kasi yung ring, de ba? So a lot of people would see us. Eh, may mga may mga dance step kami na may mga holding hands, na mga may de ba? Kasi as love team mm-hmm. kami. So, siguro nalalagyan nila ng malisyo yun. Eh, pero hindi naman namin kasi kayang i-afford na ipasara yung buong skating ring na para kami lang ang mag-skate. Me and Sian, we're just good friends. As in, oh, good friends. Tsaka, di ba may friends. iwasan mo ba yon Like, parang, if you work together, na may iwasan mo ba yun na parang, ah, for, porque may girlfriend siya, hindi na ako makikipag-friend sa kanya. Di ba? Di, parang, that's... Yeah, yeah. Ano talaga, actually, pag magkasama nga kami ni Sian, Natatawa na lang kami. I mean, like, siguro pag naintindihan ko, ako lang nababash. Pero pati siya, binabash din siya. Nasabing manuloko siya. We should just laugh about it. Well, if you, like, then, if you look at the good and the bad of it, uh, yeah. the good thing is, it's going to create noise for the project. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, actually, nga ginagamit rin nila yun na parang, promote your show in a professional way. Hindi <laughs> parang gumagamit kayo ng issue, gato, ganyan. At the back of my head, kayo naman po ang gumagawa ng mga ganyan issue. Oo, <laughs> nananahimik ka nga eh, no? Oo, na- natatawa na lang kami. Eh, pati yung mga coaches sa skating rink na dadamay, sinasabi, kutsintidor daw sila sa BBC and we would just laugh about it. We would actually, there was a time that almost every day I would receive like negative comments and, you know, hate from from people. Pero yung mga then, hate comments, ano? Oo, oh, oh, marat talaga. Tsaka, nagugulat talaga. Ang dami na ng time kasi mga paragraph talaga yung comments. Ito, hala! <laughs> Sabi yung, alam mong trolls lang that they would really make time to create an Instagram account and then just bash you all day how, long. How Pinan do you ako, deal with that? Siyempre, hindi ko sila pinapatula pero binablock ko kasi I don't like negative vibes on my social media. So, sabi ko, oh, sige. Pero grabe sila, ha? Ibablock hmm. ko troll block o di wala na, di ba? So after a few days, may bagong account may bago na naman. Na naman. Ipa-block ko ulit. Parang, Masipag. Ha, Pero of course, hindi sila pinapatula. And I just, you know, haters gonna hate what they do. Was there a I time know, na ano, na gano'n, na parang it really got to you? Siyempre, di ba? I mean, tao ka lang naman. Uh, I know, uh, yung, you always say, yun yung default mo eh, na parang, Ah, hindi ako papatol. Pero siyempre, sometimes, iba pag iba yung gising mo, tapos nabahasa oh, mo, <laughs> Yeah, um, super there was a time na parang grabe naman, sobra naman yung mga words nila na parang <laughs> bakit daw yung pinair kay Sian Lim? Laos! Isa lang siyang Jimmy Talent. Alam mo, mga ganyan. <laughs> Mas, kung time kasi na, na, na yun na hindi pa kami hindi pa kami sobrang open ni Sian sa isa't isa. And then we started, you know, we became comfortable with each other. Nabanggit ko na lang out of nowhere na you know, Sian is really used to it. So, mm-hmm. um, sana yun siya sa ganun. So, sabi ko, I'm Siguro kung kaya niya, kaya ko na lang din, di ba? Mm-hmm. There are times, sabi ko talaga, yung sakit rin sila magsalita. Pero that's their goal, eh. Na talagang, to get into your nerves. Eh, parang ayoko naman. Para mapansin, di ba? Oo, para, para mapansin. Mm-hmm. Oo, that's their main goal, eh. So, sinasabi ko sa sarili ko, I can't get affected because this is what they want. If I allow myself to be affected, ibig sabihin, panalo sila, talo ako. So, At saka hindi, mat- no, Ash? Kasi ang dami mo pang gagawin 
for the day. Pag naapektuhan yes. ka in the morning, if you allow them to get to you, apektado yung gagawin mo lahat. Wow. Eh, hindi ka naman nila papasweldohin. Yeah, that's true. They don't know me. They don't know me and I don't know them. So, oh. and I know what's, and alam ko naman yung totoong nangyayari and I don't have to really explain myself to everyone. Just we know that what we're doing is right. Wala, kami, wala po kaming maling ginagawa. Tatrabaho lang po kami. And of course, yung character namin, kami ang lovely. So, Ponga and Enzo, they're both in love with each other. Alam naman, di ba titingin kami ni Sia na walang chemistry na pinamahal ang isa't isa, di ba? That's our, it's our job to make our viewers feel kilig. Mm-mm. So, diba, na, napipigil lang na. I think that's, na- ano, no, that's, that's one of the bad aspects of showbiz, ano. Hindi sometimes ma-differentiate ng viewers or ng fans yung kung ano yung totoo sa real <laughs> life at sa real life. Diba? Na parang hindi, kala nila kung ano yung nangyayari sa screen, ganun na rin yung nangyayari in real life. Yeah, oo. Um, ano na lang, siguro that's really part of part of our job as an actor na na nakoconvince talaga namin lahat ng tao na totoo. Props to you ah. I mean, oh, at least, 'di ba? Alam mo na nakoconvince mo. Oh, I'm convincing ka doon sa ano, doon sa role mo. Oo. Pero ano naman, those uh, rumors are not true. It's really funny. Natatawa na lang kami ni si. Ash, I know this has been a really nice journey for you. Ang sabi ko nga sa iyo, 10 years in the making ito. What have you learned so far? Ano yung lesson na mai-impart mo sa amin? Um, siguro, you know, patience. Um, I've been really, really patient in this industry. And importante rin yung pakikisama sa tao. You know, you know my goal as an actor is not fame. to be a superstar. If umabot ako sa ganong level, of course, why not? I'm gonna welcome yeah. it. But, you know, hindi, hindi fame na kailangan yung purpose kailan, kailan ko sumikat. So, that's not my, you know, my main goal as an actor. So, gusto ko pong tumagal sa industry. You know, sometimes you can be famous, pero wala ka rin sa industry. Mm-hmm. That's why I really admire veterans. Like, for example, it's not Miss Annie Austria, the people I'm working with. I really admire them and I would always tell myself I want to be like them when I grow old gusto ko umaarte pa rin ako and kasi this is what I love so I stayed patient um, in my career hindi ako nagko-complain it's important rin na, na natututunan ko rin sa mga veterans isa lang sinasabi na pakikisama mo talaga sa lahat ng mga tao if you gusto mong tumagal sa industriya to kailangan mong pakikisama and syempre yung kailangan mahal mo yung ginagawa mo hirap kasi mag-artista. <laughs> Ang hirap pa ng tapaho ng artista. And maybe siguro sa kanya-kanyang profession, if, if you're really passionate with your work and and you take it seriously, you're gonna get somewhere. And you should always know how to handle rejections as well. Nahirap yun. <laughs> diba you have to have resilience. You have to believe in yourself. You just really have to accept also that You know, failures, rejection, it's really part of life and we need it in life to to grow as a person. And siguro you also have to choose your battles wisely in life because not every battle is worth fighting for. Yes. Some are a waste of time and you know, it's not about winning all the time. You should you should always know what's best for you as long as wala kang tinatapakang tao. Worth really, fighting if it's for, not diba? going to gain you wisdom, yeah, if it's yes, not going to gain yeah. you money, if it's not yeah. going to gain you anything positive, wag na lang. It's just a waste of time. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's your battles wise. Alam mo, ang ganda ng mga sinabi mo. Really. Totoo ka sa mga sinabi mo. Kasi yung pakikisama, hindi siya mahirap gawin eh. Kasi kung ka- you just have to be sincere. And yeah. ako masasabi ko, Ash, in so many years that I have been uh, friends with you, that I have been interviewing you, You have shown me nothing but respect. And you have my respect. And in fact, although we're not really friends, friends that we hang out, yeah. diba? Okay. Pero I know, pag nakikita tayo, we know we have the connection. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga, diba, sabi ko sa'yo kanina, when I saw that billboard, sabi ko, oh my God, that's my friend. <laughs> so, alam mo yun, nakaka-proud. Hindi ko natatandaan yung, yung exact instances na nakikita tayo, pero natatandaan ko yung feeling. And yung mm-hmm. warmth na pag, yes. yung, na pag, na, when we welcome each other, na parang, oh, Oh, light lang yung vibe. You don't you don't demand for anything. You don't command 
na yes. parang kailan ganito you have to lay down a red carpet for me pag dumating ako. Walang ganon. Like, parang we're just, oh, ikaw, saka na. And it's like, and it's so fun. It's so fun seeing you every time. And Thank I love you, that. Papa. Thank you, Sir Nelson. Ash, I will end this with a uh, a segment in updated with Nelson can last wherein I will turn the tables around and you ask me anything. Ay! Anything. Okay. Anything? <laughs> anything. Okay, um, how's your heart? <laughs> oh, how's my heart? How's okay. your heart? You know, funny because uh marami akong episodes dito sa updated with Nelson can last na similarly tinatanong ako ng ganyan. And um, how's my heart? Kasi parang for me, when I say it's good, it's an understatement. Eh. Pero when I say it's excellent, over naman. So I think I'm in between that perfection and good. I have been very happy for the past nine years. Bye. Not every day happy. Not yeah. every day happy, but of course, di ba may mga araw na, you know, nag-aaway kayo, yeah, nag- yeah. ganyan, may mga araw na you get to be tested, and you know, my partner is so testy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Pero, I'm generally, generally happy. Like, if you're going to look at it in a, you know, bird's eye point of view, na parang, ah, that's one happy person. And, yeah. Um, I've been what? I've been with a same person for nine years and we have been married wow. for five years and wow. there's not much I can ask for in the relationship kung yun lang ang tatanungin although although syempre sana we could travel more we could have more time to spend with each other but you know of course pero yung the relationship per se the little things kasi like parang we share this up oh, I go out to work he goes out to work pero this moment in our day we're in we call it the couch time mm-hmm. na parang yung we, we, ano after shower and then we turn on the TV Every and then time para oh, oh, meron kaming time na although alam naman namin pareho na makakatulog ako whenever we have the couch time <laughs> pero that moment na parang whatever is in that couch our dog tapos kaming uh-huh. dalawa we just ano we just the most important things in my life is in this couch right now. So, yun. I have one last question. Just sure, go one. ahead. I always ask these people. I also mm. ask them also. Siyempre, kasi hindi nyo naman po sabihin sa akin yung, yung age nyo, but uh, your life right now, ano pa po yung parang gusto nyo gawin? Like, I would always ask older people na, you know, may mga, yung mga may narating na, like, of course, you're a very famous journalist. What else oh, do you... Famous, come you, on. Ash, you, come alam mo yung parang may milestone ng narating. So, parang, what else do you want to achieve in life? Ah, okay. I will not lie about my age. You know, I'm very vocal about my age. I'm already 53 this year. 53, and when I was younger, I thought, na parang na-reach ko na yung parang peak and then nag-plato na parang wala na and I'm so much in a hurry na parang kailan ba ako magkakaroon ng ganito kailan ba ako ganito kailan ba ako ng ganito pero napansin ko nung medyo matanda na ako I don't care anymore I am just enjoying the ride and napapansin ko umaangat ang umaangat yung buhay ko in terms of not in terms of fame but in terms of the people who trust me. So, parang it's more of you're just enjoying every moment. Yes. Living life. Kasi alam mo, yun din ang may impart ko sa iyo. Ah. Like, I know you're very young, but mm-hmm. you know, you're in your early 20s. And probably, you know, at the back of your head, you're thinking na parang kailangan kong I need to hustle. Para, yeah, oh, parang mm, burden. Ganon. I have to do this, I have to do that. I'm still mm. young. Marami pa ang kainin na bigas to get there. No. Um, walang masama doon. Walang masama doon. Pero, ang nakakalimutan kasi ng mga younger people is to enjoy the ride. Is to enjoy the journey. Na parang, if it's deterrent to your happiness, Mm-mm. take a step back. Yeah, that's... You know, 
marami ka pang pwedeng gawin. At 53 ang feeling ko. Ang dami ko pa palang pwedeng gawin. And ikaw Life nga, oh. Started. You're what? You're 30 years younger than me and you still have 30 years before you reach my age. And I'm sure mas maraming maraming marami ka pang ma-achieve. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's actually one of my purpose in life also. Is live life to the fullest. Mm-hmm. I'm also single. I'm in my exploring stage. I want to meet a lot of new people, explore the world. Oh, travel. and this, ah, and this, ah, uh, iniisip ko. Don't leave any stone unturned. Do whatever you you have to do. Na parang ayaw mong at the end of your life. You look back at your life and say na parang, but di ko pala ginawa yun. You Kasi minsan regret. kahit, minsan kahit mali, sometimes, if, alam mo na kahit mistake, pero kung masarap siyang gawin, gawin mo ulit yung mistake na yun. Fall in love. Yeah. Do whatever. ba? Diba? Don't stop yourself. And don't let people dictate kung ano yung magpapasaya sa'yo. Yes, yes. That's one thing that is very important to me also. I mean, Mm. Only me who can who knows And myself. I, I'm sure that, natutunan mo yan ha nung time na mag-isa ka lang na wala talaga yeah. magpapasaya sa'yo. I know yeah. your parents would give you happiness pero they can only go so far. It's yes. always you from At that oo oh, oh, na parang pag behind closed doors ako lang pala to ako yes. lang magpapasaya sa sarili ko. Yes. That's And true. never enter into a relationship thinking that the other person will complete you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's what I told myself also now. I don't think um, I'm gonna allow myself to have a commitment or to fall in love with someone knowing na hindi pa ako buo mm-hmm. na I can't be happy on my own. Kasi it would look like you're just depending your happiness on somebody. Else. Oh, in the, in the same manner, ha? and in the same breath, Don't also enter into a relationship na ikaw yung kukumpleto sa tao. Yes, yes, that's true also. Mm. Like, di ba na, sabi ko, like, my happiness is like on this level. Kailangan, if ever man may dumating sa life ko, gusto ko, it's either we're on the same level or like, masaya siya. Oh, mas masaya, mas masaya siya, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, parang ganun. Oh. And, you know, I, I, I know, Ash, that you have a really, really bright future. And sabi ko nga sa'yo, Uh, isa ko sa mga na-proud when I saw that parang kasi yung, that billboard is really parang symbolic siya eh, of all the hard work that you yeah, that's you know true. that you've been through in the last 10 years waiting for that build, billboard to, to really up there, talagang yeah. be up there and I'm just so so proud of you thank you Paul thank you Paul thank hmm. you sir Thank you very much, Ash, for your time. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed this. You know, I enjoyed this oh. conversation really <laughs> seriously. <laughs> oh, because oh, ang sinabi ko lang nung una na parang uh, it's going to be like 15, 20 minutes. Pero oh, oh, ah, nga, more than <laughs> Ash, thank you again. Thank, thank you very you, much. Mm-hmm. I, I hope to, you know, I hope to again. see you one of these days and hug you because yes! you, you deserve that. You deserve thank the congratulatory you. hug. Thank you. Put the book sa sir. I will. Magpupuyat ako for that. One of these okay. days. <laughs> thank you very much.